how to make a strong password. The first thing you need to do in making your password really strong is to take it to the gym. I'm personally not allowed to go to the gym anymore because they only have dumbbells and I can only use smart bells. But honestly, what does it mean to have a strong password? A strong password refers to the level of resilience and resistance a password has against unauthorized access, hacking attempts or password cracking methods. A strong password is one that is difficult for others to guess or decipher, even with the use of advanced techniques and tools. It is designed to provide a high level of security for your email, social media, banking accounts and other programs or websites that require you to log on. Now let's talk about what makes a strong password. First up, complexity. A strong password should be like a secret code. Mix it up with uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and throw in some special characters for good measure. Just remember that some websites don't allow special characters, so in that case you can't use these there. Now size does matter when it comes to passwords. The length of your password is crucial. Aim for at least 8 characters, but the longer the better. Some people often use only one word, but a phrase or sequence of words or a sentence that's easy for you to remember can be harder for others to guess. Avoid using easily guessable or personal information like your name or birthday or dog's name. Make your password as unpredictable as possible. And it's also less insulting because you could use your much-loved fluffy friend Baxter's name as a password, but the computer's going to call it weak. How dare you call my Baxter weak? And don't make your password follow a pattern, like the first 8 letters of your keyboard, or using numbers 1 to 8, or even using the most commonly used passwords, password 1. I know these are easy to remember, but be creative. And now the part you don't want to hear, but you really should change your passwords regularly. Every couple of months, especially on important accounts like email and banking logins. I know, I know, it makes it so difficult to remember, but if you can, try to do that. If you feel like someone has gained access to your account or something feels suspicious like settings have been changed, then definitely change it immediately. Now here's the golden rule. Use unique passwords for each account. Think of passwords as a key to the doors of your different accounts. If you use the same key on all your locks and someone is able to get that key, they have access to all your different accounts. But if you use different keys or passwords for different accounts, even if one key gets compromised, the others are still safe. So now that we know the best tips for a strong password, I'm going to show you how you can use these to create easy to remember passwords that are strong. I start off not with a word but a quote or phrase that I really know well. If you don't know already, I love superheroes and I love the first Avengers movie and one of my favorite lines from that movie is when Loki and Iron Man are having a discussion and the following lines are said, I have an army, we have a Hulk. Hulk is my personal favorite, you just have to check out my Funko Pops for that. So let's take those two lines and use the first letter of each word and we're left with this. Doesn't look like any recognizable word that a brute force attack could come up with, so there isn't a real easy to see pattern and it's not really personal information. Check check. Next, let's add some numbers and some special characters. I like changing R's and L's to 1's, E's to 3's, S's to 5's and O's to 0's. And special characters could be an I instead to an exclamation mark or the A to an at symbol and things like that. So let's change that I in front to a 1. And how about that last A we changed to an at symbol. And change one character to a capital letter. Because my fingers will need to press a shift for the at symbol, I'll change that one H to a capital so it's easier when I'm typing it quickly. So yeah, we're left with this, which checks our complexity requirement. Now already it is a good password, but to make lots of these every single time for each account is going to hurt my brain trying to remember. So I'd rather come up with a two digit code to represent a website or program I'm logging onto. Let's say I'm using the first and last letter of the website or program and I'll add them at the end. So my Facebook password could look like this with an F and a K at the end for Facebook while my Instagram password will be something like this with an I and an M at the end. So now not only are my passwords definitely longer than 8 characters but they're also unique for each account. But you can be creative, maybe use 3 letters of the site or place one at the front and one at the end. It's totally up to you. Now you have an easy system to remember for each password if you always follow that guide. I would still have another option that uses a different phrase or quote and use one for special accounts and one for general ones, but that's just a suggestion. So there you go. You have an easy way to generate a strong password that is also easy to remember. If you struggle with remembering passwords, then there are password manager programs that can help like Bitwarden and 1Password. It's like having a personal assistant for all your keys, secure and organized. 
Adding an extra layer of security is always a good idea. Two-factor authentication is like having a second set of gates and it's a powerful way to keep your account safe. Getting a one-time password sent to your phone when you log on adds that extra layer of protection. But always be cautious of giving out your password and for phishing attempts. If a message or email seems fishy, don't take the bait. Always double check the legitimacy of a website before entering your login information. And remember, your online security is not just your responsibility. It's a collective effort. Share what you've learned with your friends and family to create a safer digital community. Well, that's a wrap on the importance of strong passwords. Take a few minutes today to review your passwords and make them strong and unique and make those online accounts secure. For more computer terms, make sure that you subscribe to our channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms. Follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And don't forget our other YouTube channel at Mr. Long RT and Cat. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.